Hello everyone and welcome to the first adventure of 2024 which sees us traveling to Andalusia in Spain and specifically to Cabo de Gata, a semi-desertic natural park famous for its volcanic rock formations, gold mines and spaghetti western movie locations. In the next few videos I will hike and explore the area before making my way back south. And the food, sometimes glam, most times not so much, but always tasty. But let's start from the beginning, shall we? Since the flight was very cheap, I for once treated myself to a hotel room by Stansted Airport instead of the airport floor. Early next morning, I boarded these shiny 737-800 and flew to sunny Spain, landing in Malaga just before midday. I spent the afternoon exploring the city. And at 7 p.m. I got on the Alsa bus to Almeria, where I arrived at around 10 p.m. In the morning, I bought breakfast at a supermarket and then made my way to rent the loyal steed, which would hopefully take me to Cabo de Gata. The bike wasn't ready, uh, so I went to make sure that the cycle lane was where Google said it would be. Went back to the shop and there she was in all her glory. Without wasting any more time, I got on and started pedaling, making my way east along the coastline. The cycle lanes are very well maintained. It was my very first time seeing a roundabout on a bike lane. As I made my way out of the city, I end up on this dodgy dirt road, which, you know, true to its name, resembled a dip. And I get stuck in overgrown vegetation as well. This is where I got stuck. As you can see, it looked much clearer on the map. After that, I reached the little town of El Toyo. And from now on, I'll be on the main road with cars and lorries, but my early fear of being flattened sort of disappeared when I realized that everyone was taking incredibly good care when passing me. Halfway, I stop for lunch and a backside stretch. Now it begins the labyrinth of greenhouses. Kind of claustrophobic, I have to admit, in some areas. Uh, and if you look at the satellite map of this region, you can only see the white of the plastic covering the greenhouses, which is also used to reflect the sun away and help keep the torrid summer temperature somewhat at bay. I soon arrive at the last frontier, the village of Los Albaricoques. This is where the asphalt gives way to the dirt, rocky road of the park and its mountains, where the crowds disappear and all that is left is quiet and peace, and that is the main reason why I'm here. Soon I realized that these roads were not at all bike friendly. Or at 
least my sparse experience on this type of terrain would mean a great final struggle. I finally reached the mining village of Rodal Kilar and it's all downhill from here. I will shut up and let you enjoy the end of the video. I'm gonna sleep with India above my head and Mr. Connery as well. Rest in peace. A small kitchen. Coffee maker. Fridge with water. Cleaning products. I'm going to go to the market in town. 